My name is Chris Anderson, and I'm studying a food processing technician at Conestoga College. My name is Sherry Johnson, and I'm studying at Conestoga College, the uh, food processing technician program. The Institute of Food Processing Technology, or IFPT for short, at Conestoga College, opened its doors to students in the fall of 2011, with a mission to address the shortage of skilled labor in the food processing industry. Well, at the plant, we spend most of our time running the machinery and trying to find the, the problem areas, trying to run the most efficient line, best product we can. When we enter the pilot plant, uh, we do everything on our own from audits to setup to operations to tear down to sanitation. There's a number of pieces of equipment. We have three different lines here. We have a bakery line, a vegetable line, as well as a bottling line. My favorite's the bottling line. Uh, it's, it's probably the most complex of the three lines that we have here. Our fully automated beverage preparation processing and bottling line runs at 60 bottles per minute and provides numerous opportunities for troubleshooting and identifying bottlenecks. With a strong emphasis on teamwork, students not only learn to operate state-of-the-art equipment, but also understand how their individual roles and tasks influence the final output of a production line at the end of the day. Troubleshooting the lines, uh, finding where the bottlenecks are, finding where I can fix and make, uh, make the lines more efficient. With an investment of almost $5 million, IFPT's pilot plant is a key component in all training programs. Uh, the teachers are great, they're all from the field. Uh, they're very knowledgeable and experienced and they get to pass all that knowledge down to us. You have a lot of support here. Um, we're doing everything that you do in a facility. Factors such as teamwork, line efficiency, productivity, quality control, preventative maintenance, waste management and sustainability are emphasized throughout our training programs. On the vegetable line there's uh, peelers and slicers and a very neat multi-pond that divides the products into each package. A number of slicers, cutters, deal with electrical controls and PLCs. Pretty well everything you'd see on a regular factory floor. I was quite impressed. Uh, the equipment is state-of-the-art, brand new, excellent machinery, all very automated, robots, you name it, they got it. With the help of professional food plant design engineers, a real-life food processing environment was created in 8,000 square feet. Uh, the best aspect of being a student here is definitely the hands-on approach. You get to work with each line in each different field of uh, food processing. It's a beautiful state-of-the-art facility. It's, it's a multi-million dollar machine in there. and Everything you'd see in a normal facility, uh, the scale is a little bit smaller, but anything you'd see normally is, is there. It's fantastic. Our bakery production line enables students to work on different types of baked products including buns, rolls, muffins and brownies. A planetary mixer and a spiral mixer are used to feed the proportioning equipment from which formed raw units fall on a retracting conveyor that feeds the trays delivered by an indexing conveyor. Trays are placed onto racks which are then brought to the automatic proofers before baking in an automatic rotary single rack oven. Baked goods are then placed on a spiral cooler and from there are fed to a vertical flow wrap packaging machine. Just the smell of the fresh bread is excellent. Uh, the ovens are really high tech and you can cool, preheat, warm, everything you need to do all in one small area. Food safety is very important here. We learn every, every single rule that you would learn for the industry and you could walk out of this place and walk right into a plant and know exactly what you need to do to keep, keep our food supply safe. Basically, uh, the focus is on understanding what the lab people do in the field and understanding our connection to them. The beverage preparation and processing area includes different mixing systems, a liquefier, an emulsifier, several transfer pumps, an ultra-high temperature pasteurization system, a homogenizer, and an aseptic tank. The bottling operation includes a bottle unscrambler, a rinser, a rotary filler, a capper, labeler, a tray former and a tray shrink wrapping unit. The vegetable packaging line includes a suite of inclined conveyors and manual sorting tables located between different processing units. Peeling, washing and slicing happen before reaching the multi-pond weigher filler used to fill plastic trays which are later sealed under normal or modified atmosphere. Trays go through a check weigher and a metal detector before a robotic arm places them into preformed cardboard cases. 
Our graduates come out of school ready to take on challenging jobs and to act as catalysts for productivity in the food processing industry.